Hi everyone, let's talk about business analytics today, and especially about embedded analytics. There is too many terms everywhere. We all talk about AI, and we can mean so many different things about it. We talk about data science, we talk about data analytics, but I do want to bring us back to business analytics and specifically how companies can use embedded analytics. So let's break down what it means. So first of all, business analytics is all about bringing data insights to business people to help them make better decisions to help them manage their business. Business analytics solutions can come in many shapes. It could be reports and dashboards, descriptive analytics, which tell you uh, what has happened before, aggregate important information. It could be diagnostic analytics, so ad hoc analysis, understanding the reasons behind different uh, business phenomena, understand reasons behind events, understand contributing factors. There is predictive analytics, uh, you can have a dashboard that combines descriptive and predictive analytics uh, on one page. So you can have standardized reports, you can have dashboards, you may have predictive models built into other processes that help you with decision making. Which one is embedded analytics? So let's think not necessarily about what those analytics solutions do, but how they are delivered to the people who need to be using them. Okay, so business analytics is for business users. Now imagine you are a business user. You are a person uh, that doing their job and you need some insights from data to do your job. One way to get those insights is to turn around and open up a dashboard or go through your emails and find the latest weekly report that was emailed to you or even pick up a piece of paper and look through it because maybe you printed off a report because it's easier for you to look at. All of those different ways of accessing insights mean you have to make an extra effort. You have to find things, you have to filter, you have to search, look through different dashboards, perhaps set up different parameters or a report criteria, run those reports or look at those dashboards, click through, navigate, to find the information you need. So there is a lot of thinking that needs to be done on your part and a lot of extra effort. And you know what happens when you take a busy person and tell them, okay, in order to find out this and that, you have to log into dashboards, go and find this, navigate to that, click through this, here are the different criteria you have to use, here are the codes that you need to choose, and then click on that and click on this, and finally you'll get it. What will often happen is if someone is really busy, they're not going to do it. So one of the risks with delivering analytics on an analytics platform somewhere is that people are not going to go there and look because they're too busy. And this is exactly where embedded analytics comes in. The goal of embedded analytics is to bring those insights directly to the workflow, to that place where I'm doing my job every day. If I'm a client service rep and I'm constantly in front of the screen connected to our CRM, Customer Relationship Management Solution, I'm on the phone, I'm speaking to customers, I'm looking at their files. Ideally, I would want all those insights to be displayed right here where I'm doing my job. I don't really want to go anywhere else. So this is what business analytics aims to do with embedded delivery of analytics. It means embedding insights that could have been generated on an analytics platform, bringing it back to the system used by my business users. So we can define embedded analytics as analytics solutions integrated directly into the business process. In practice, it usually means integration, integration between analytics platform and your operational system. For example, you're receiving a customer phone call and through embedded analytics, you right away see predicted customer lifetime value that will tell you something about the importance of this customer. Or uh, maybe you are trying to uh, predict the sales volumes and uh, determine what needs to be ordered in terms of inventory. And your orders come, uh, order information comes from multiple systems. In many of those instances, uh, what we need to solve is the problem that the information required for those analytics insights sits in different systems 
and it's not necessarily connected right to the system that you are using. So analytics platforms usually bring the data from multiple systems together. However, then you have to go and look for that aggregated insight on that analytics platform. Instead, what we want is to bring and embed that analytic insight back to your system that you are using daily to do your job. So what embedded analytics does, it addresses the problem of latency and the problem of delivery and distance to the delivery of the insights. So the distance is about you having to go to another place to find the information, to find the chart and the dashboard. Latency refers to delay. And in business context, when we talk about latency, what we mean is delay between a business event and the time it takes for you to make a decision and take action based on that event. So let's take a scenario. Let's consider that you work in a call center and uh, your event is a customer call. So customer is calling, perhaps your system picks up caller ID and you can automatically look up whether this is an existing customer. Based on that information, your system can display the information such as customer name, maybe current orders. However, you have another platform, analytics platform, where you can actually predict things, where you can get predictions from, for example, potential customer lifetime value. Now that prediction requires aggregated data potentially for multiple systems because it might be looking at uh, any complaints you filed or previous deliveries or anything else that may be in, actually captured in different systems. How can you see that information right here? Imagine you see it right as a phone call comes in, that prediction is already brought back to you. So that's what embedded analytics can do. Now that latency that we are now addressing is combined from multiple things. First of all, we have data latency. So that's the delay between the event happening and data being captured in the system. In this case, it's incoming call to the contact center and the information about the customer captured, for example, the phone number and respect to the account number of the customer that this phone belongs to. The next is analytical latency. So the delay between getting the data and analyzing it. In our scenario, that would be the delay between figuring out who is this customer, what's the customer account number and generating the prediction customer lifetime value. And finally, there is a decision latency. So that's the delay between me getting analytic insights, the prediction, and making a decision based on that. Where does the latency come from? There can be multiple reasons, of course. The architecture, uh, the characteristics of the data pipeline, how many systems are involved, the design of how the data is collected, prepared, and transported to an analytics system, whether your analytics can or cannot be generated real time. So there's many factors, but again, to get to the embedded analytics, we must address the latency across that whole data pipeline and integrate the insight back into your operational system so that I see this insight at the time where I need it. Because if I can look at the dashboard later and say, oh, I should have talked to that customer differently. This is actually a very important customer. It's too late, right? So we want to have the insight immediately. Otherwise, we may never have time to look at it and we will get the next call and the next call and the next call and the time will die. So how to achieve uh, the possibility of implementing embedded analytics? That goes back to the architecture in an organization, analytics architecture specifically. First of all, the data is collected from potential multiple systems. So there's data pipeline or data pipelines that bring the data, prepare it, clean it, and allow it to be collected for analytics purposes. Then you have your analytics platform, analytics solution or tool that is producing the insight, such as a prediction. And then there needs to be an integration from the analytics platform back to your solution. And uh, all of that needs to happen close to real time in order for us to really call it embedded analytics. So even though all of that integration may be happening behind the scenes, to me as a user, it looks seamless. It looks like that insight is delivered 
right into my enterprise application that I'm using uh, as I'm doing it, my daily job. And uh, to me, it looks like the analytics just exists here. And that's the most important, right? Not only it's delivered to me at the same time, but it's contextual. What it means is that I don't have to specify parameters. I don't have to figure out selection criteria. I don't need to type things and navigate to things and click on things. Instead, my system that I'm using right now to do my job captures the context. For example, what customer I'm working with? What file do I have open? What order am I looking at? And that context, that data automatically allows me to retrieve the insight that is specific to this context, okay? So I don't have to do anything additional. And this is the most important feature to strive for when planning and designing embedded analytics is to make it as easy as possible for your end user, for your regular consumer to use the insight because the less extra work I have to do, the more chances that I will actually use it and that I will not ignore it and just move on using my gut feel and I don't care about analytics. So let's just look at the example of how this embedded analytics flow might work. So first of all, here is our event. The operational system receives a phone call from the customer. So I sit in a contact center, a phone call comes through, and my caller ID system picks up a customer phone number. Now my workflow is already smart and it designed in such a way that it picks up this caller ID. It looks up in a customer database whether there is a customer with such a phone number on record. It will find my customer, it will find the customer account number and perhaps request some basic information that is already in the system. Customer status, what are open service requests and so on. And the same time, the system behind the scenes is going to call out to an analytics platform, passing on all the relevant information that, of course, is already designed for. Uh, here is the account, here is the account number, and my analytics platform is going to generate the prediction. And let's continue with the same example of customer lifetime value, predicted customer lifetime value that's calculated and that number, that prediction, such as probability that customer is likely to spend money and how much money the customer is likely to spend, perhaps uh, provided some conditions, such as that customer is still satisfied with my services, that prediction is passed back to my CRM, my Customer Relationship Management System. And as I'm receiving a call and perhaps saying the, my hello to the customer, I already see this analytical insight on screen. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to search. That information is there for me and it might help me to determine how to behave with the customer. Can I upsell? Can I cross sell? Is my customer happy? Is it possible that my customer isn't happy? And so on. Uh, for example, if that system actually tells me, well, this customer is very unhappy and maybe they are at risk, maybe this is a flight risk, I probably don't want to upsell them. Instead, I might actually try to offer them a discount or try in some way to placate the customer and make them feel better. If uh, my prediction return to me indicates that the customer is likely to spend more, perhaps this is my opportunity to cross sell or offer a new product or a new bundle. In some cases, these predictive uh, analytical systems can even propose a script, an optimized script that a customer service rep can use in different circumstances. So this is just an example of an embedded analytics flow. Hopefully you can see different applications and if you're thinking of any system you're working with right now, you might be thinking about how that could play out in your environment. And this is really the goal of this video, to get you thinking about the capabilities of embedded analytics and the advantages and the value of having the insight brought back to your business person doing their job right as they're doing their job. As soon as possible, real time, to help them make decision or take the next step and help them uh, figure out what is the best possible step under the current circumstances. And at that time, you're not making the user work hard. No, your system needs to be designed 
to collect the information, to determine the current context and deliver the insight which is specific and contextual for that particular case, for that particular customer, for that particular order, and so on. Okay, so that's a little bit of an overview on embedded analytics. If you want to learn more, you can check out my course on data fundamentals for business analysts. You can look up my other videos. And if you want to learn more about different applications of analytics or of business analysis, uh, join our BA Mindset Mentorship Circle. I'll provide the information below. If you have any questions about embedded analytics, analytics in general, or what business analysts need to know about data, please add your comments uh, and I will address those questions in my next videos. All the best. Take care.